What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about an easy way to quickly toggle the visibilities of different objects inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is a fairly simple tutorial but I've something that I've run into multiple times when I'm creating different models in Fusion 360. So often when you're modeling you want to turn things on and off. So some Sometimes objects in your model can block your views. So you can't really see what you want to see, um, other things like that. And so one way that you can do this is you can go into your browser and you can manage the visibility by clicking on the different eyes that are in here. So for example, for my folder for my door, I can turn the entire folder on or off by clicking the little eye here, or I can also turn individual parts and pieces off. So um, I can do that by clicking on the little eye right here. However, where this can get a little bit tricky is sometimes you want to turn multiple things on and off inside of your model. And uh, you would think that you could just go through here and just do a shift click and just select a bunch of these and then just click on the eye, but that will only turn off an individual item, not multiple different items. And so the way that you need to do this if you want to toggle things on and off and there's multiples is you want to select them and you can either right click on them and click on show hide or you can tap the V key and 99% of the time I just tap the V key because it makes it really easy for me to select objects and toggle them on and off so for example let's say that I wanted to select every other piece of wood in here I could just select these and then tap the V key and you can see how that gets turned off um, without me having to do anything else and then if I want to turn them back on I can just select them all tap the V key again to turn those back on. So it's just kind of a quick keyboard shortcut, but it's something that's going to save you a lot of time in the long run when you're trying to toggle these things back and forth. So one thing to note about this is when you do this, um, it's going to toggle your objects that you have selected to the opposite visibility of what they are now. So for example, if you look at this door, if I toggle these pieces of wood and then I select all of the pieces of wood that make up this door and tap the V key, you can see how the objects that were on get toggled to off and the objects that were off get toggled to on. So this is really more of a toggle. Um, so it'll switch whatever the visibility is for these objects to the opposite state. So that's from an in this video. It's just a quick tip that saved me a bunch of time in working in Fusion 360. So just kind of learn it and practice it and make sure it's a part of your workflow. And then once you do that, you'll just kind of start doing it automatically and it's going to save you a bunch of time. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.